to give the car back to the happy customer now. Do <laughs> what I do. Well, quit your day job, kids. Everything's coming out. Yeah. Yeah, everything's in there. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. A lot of you have seen our uh, previous video where we gained 140 rear wheel horsepower on a 6th uh, gen Camaro. Well, we are here doing more modifications and we're here with the owner. And we're going to go for a ride after we've done just a throttle body swap and we're going to see if we've gained from the Nick Williams 102. You ready for this? It's ready. <laughs> then we'll get some feedback on how the car's been and uh, go from there. So we made it a little bit closer to Mexico. Oh, and there's the border. Wow! Oh, I love Mexico! Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> I love Mexico. Looking clean. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. You know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go throw her on the dyno and we're gonna see if that uh, um, that gained on pump. And if it did gain on pump, we're gonna put it, or if, if it's different, we're gonna put some E85 in it and uh, uh, get a full retune here. And if not, we're gonna set it off with a clean bill of health. back in America so I'm not gonna mess around so. <laughs> okay Mike's gonna strap the car down and we're gonna see if we get any gains from the Nick Williams 102 and that's it and while Mike's strapping it down we're gonna go talk to the customer and see how he's been enjoying the car for the last two three months so we're, we're here with Jason on the casting couch Yeah. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> So take two. We're here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're here with Jason on the uh, the CSP futon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a fancy futon. If you ever come to CSP, you'll see it. It's it's been in the family for a while now. <coughs> so basically, uh, you've had the car for a couple months. Yeah. What do you think of it? Um, I absolutely, thoroughly love it. Like. Um, brought it in, I had some expectations with it, and after I got it, playing with it on the highway on, on the way home, and I was absolutely blown away. Um, it definitely is a head turn by any means. Like, everywhere I go, I got people, like, giving me double takes and everything. For how I drive the car, for when I do take it to the track, it is, it's perfect to the T, in my mind. I absolutely love it and I thank you guys greatly um, I'm sure when I do other modifications um, yeah I'll probably be back here doing all that did I pay you to say any of that no Perfect. nothing whatsoever nothing whatsoever I no <laughs> did not pay me to say that it's even scarier in the passenger seat isn't uh, it? Yeah, yeah to say the least yeah not having control yeah Mexico passenger seat that car yeah it's a little it's a little hair raising Okay, well, we'll see if we can get back to Mexico. Let's go check on the dyno and see if we gain any power. So, from the last time it was here, it went from 501 the 505 and uh, the the torque difference was like negligible so uh, maybe a little bit up top it's uh, it's two different days so it's it's not exactly you know a perfect apples to apples comparison but we do see like little areas of gains uh, and you know other areas where it looks like exactly the same so we're gonna put some E85 in it and see how she does now Someone asked in the last video, what does the idle sound like? There you go. This is with the exhaust 
closed. settling with on E85 is down a little bit, but we're not running E85, we're running E63 as opposed to the E85 or E82 that we were running the last time. So I think that these are good numbers, dropping down only like three horsepower and like five or six torque. You can see that there is definitely a difference across the board, but I think that highly uh, reflects, and you see it get tighter in the top end, I think that high, highly reflects yeah, the difference between the the ethanol composition. Um, you see that we do get more efficient in the top end, and uh, uh, I think that has to do with the Nick Williams throttle body. Now back out to the street. Ready to go back out? Sure. Okay. Do I need a diaper? I don't know. That's up to you. Okay. <laughs> What's that sign say up there? It says "Welcome to Mexico." Hell yeah! <laughs> Agua. See, it says Agua. We'll have to do this at another spot. Mexico's a little crowded. And that's uh, the other end of Mexico that we're entering. We're entering the other end of Mexico? Yeah, we got there real quick. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, we, before we, like, get to, like, Panama or whatever is after Mexico. Guatemala. Is it? Okay. Guata Guatemala? Okay. Waiting for none of those Mexican cars to be in the way. Yeah, that's close enough. Coming back into America right now, we're just going to go through the border. Uh, we got that express thing, so we don't even have to stop, and the teleportation thing to get us back to the shop. So let's go do that and settle up. Wow. We're back. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Real quick, just yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. No, so what's mine, the, what's the, what's the next plans? Maybe. Uh, maybe down the road, um, probably do a supercharger or a turbocharger on it. Don't know which one yet. Um, I vote turbo. Let's see, eh, turbo lag, eh, not a fan of. I know there's ways around it, but eh, personal you, preference. You, you'll be amazed at like how fast like the Hellion kit like lights I've up. Seen that was, videos. It's yeah. stupid. It yeah. it out uh, performed my roots blower. I Just, also like those as well. Yes. Uh, I'm kind of torn three different ways for it. Well, we're dealer for it all. So, yeah. Pro Charger, we're dealer for ECS, we're dealer for like Magnuson, we're dealer for. I don't know if we're a dealer for Whipple or not, but we could be. Um, Magnuson would be the one I went if I went with it. Yeah, they style. have a 2650 coming out. You will definitely need like rods and pistons for oh, that. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That, yeah, I got a game plan for that, but not getting there yet but for the future for the future so at some point yeah cool well thanks for coming oh thank you look at that we'll get it on video so they know we shook <laughs> yeah we did we're all it. leaving on good terms yep always look at that fancy beautiful car Need the bath. well through the lens here it looks pretty clean <laughs> take it easy you too So guys, I wanted to uh, tell you that today the humidity is awful. Look, there we go, you can see me now. So the, the humidity is awful today, and I think that what we're seeing is the car is making the same power into the high end where it's making slightly more, but because the humidity is awful, um, we're not like really seeing any true gain uh, comparatively from one dyno run to the other. Uh, it just kind of is what it is. We got a really, you know, poor day and there's a hurricane coming in and humidity is through the roof so uh, 
but the temperature is about the same. So I think that that's what we're seeing. Uh, I do believe that the Nick Williams performs, but I think it's going to be in the high end at only a couple horsepower. So you weren't expecting earth-shattering gains either, just uh, maybe a little bit better throttle response and, and whatnot. I'm going to give you some more updates on the shop because we got a couple things that are changing as well. So one of the cool things that we've done, well, not cool things, but if you guys remember, the uh, compressor died. And we were using the uh, Harbor Freight guy. It actually did a really good job. Uh, it's a 26 gallon tank. I highly recommend it for you like uh, garage guys, like home garage guys. It's, uh, that worked out really awesome and it was a good price too. Uh, it's actually what we're gonna use to run the dyno by itself when we move it over to the new shop. I did uh, replace the uh, air compressor compressor. That's down here and it uh, it makes pressure again. You can see we're hanging out at 150, so we're back in business. And our, uh, oh my gosh, somebody ruined the CSP logo. Uh. And of course we have the, uh, the new shop where we're prepping it and uh, I'll get you an update on that in a different video because I have like a lot of footage of us like, uh, well, not us, but like I, uh, uh, I commissioned a friend to do the floors and, or to prep the floors for us so we can epoxy them and uh, it was a lot of work and so I, I will have another like update regarding the uh, well not the new shop but the expansion the the new unit so we do have some personnel updates uh, as you guys I think know but uh, I don't know that we made any announcement uh, Sean has gone back to school Sean was doing our videos that's why you know yours truly is filming this stuff now uh, a bit more and I'm trying to get what I can out uh, Sean is uh, uh, back at college and we're working on a way that he can actually compile the videos while somebody else films. I did make a hire and I'll tell you more about it when he comes on uh, because you never count your chickens before they're hatched. So as a sad note, John has moved on. Uh, John's been a great employee over the years and uh, we're sad to see him go but we wish him the best of luck in his new venture. Uh, nobody's been fired. <laughs> So it's kind of, it's it was sad, but we wished him the best of luck on his new, you know, adventure. Um, so we do have an opening. We do have an opening for a, uh, a full-time tech. Uh, and uh, if you are local to Westchester, PA, and are interested in applying, send us an email. Uh, the email is right here. It's info at completestreetperformance.com. Uh, send your resume and uh, work history and uh, why you think you'd be a good fit for uh, our performance shop. GM experience is needed, so if you don't have it, uh, unless you do a lot of serious like fabrication, we're, uh, we're probably not going to be uh, looking too hard at your resume. No offense, it's just what we need. I hope you guys like this video of updates. Uh, if you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next cool stuff. Now, for me, I'm off to Vegas, hopefully not going down in Hurricane Florence on my way to Vegas. I've never been there before. If you guys have any suggestions on what me and the bachelor party should do, uh, definitely let me know. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you when I'm back.